Hello everyone, welcome back to Quick Nurse, where we break down the nursing curriculum simple and easier for you to learn. Today we're going to talk about the phases of pharmacokinetics. Pharmacokinetics refers to how medications travel through the body, also meaning how it goes through the blood and gets to certain organs and certain cells after it's administered. Medications undergo a variety of biochemical processes that result in absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. So let's get started. First, we're going to talk about absorption. It's the movement of a drug into the bloodstream after administration. The rate of administration depends on how the medication takes effect. There are several different routes um, to take drugs. Each route have a unique pattern of absorption. The four main routes will be topical, parental, inhalation, and enteral. Next is the distribution, which is the transportation of medications to site of action by bodily fluids. There are three factors that can influence the distribution. So you have circulation, which are conditions that can inhibit blood flow and delay medication distribution. You have the passing of the cell membrane. Um, the medication must be able to pass through tissue and memory in order to reach its target area. And last, you have the plasma proteins binding sites. Medications are competing for protein binding sites within the bloodstream. The ability of a medication to bind to a protein can affect how much of the medication will travel to the target tissues. Next phase is metabolism. So metabolism changes medication into less active form or inactive form. This occurs primarily in the liver, but also takes place in the kidney, lungs, intestines, and blood. There are many factors that can influence the metabolism rate. One being age, um, infants have a limited medication metabolism capacity and older adults require smaller doses of medication because of the metabolism tends to decline with age. Another factor will be the fast pass effect. This is when the liver inactivates some medications on their first pass through the liver which will result in you giving medication sublingual or IV um, IV will be best because it goes straight into the bloodstream. Another factor would be the client's nutritional status. Clients who are malnourished can be deficient in the factors that are necessary to produce specific medication. All right, and then our last phase is excretion. This is the elimination of medication from the body. It primarily takes place through the kidney. Um, elimination also takes place through the liver, lungs, intestines, and exocrine glands, such as breast milk. This is why um, it's important for breastfeeding mothers to look at their medication because um, it can come out to the baby and can cause effect. So these are the phases of pharmacokinetics. Absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.